In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly test our Premium Labs. Once you log in with your trial account, you can click on Practice Labs. Here you can search for a specific lab that you're looking for, but you can also just open any lab to open a lab portal, just like this. By clicking on a launch button, you will be automatically logged into our system. And now you can go back to the dashboard just to see every other lab available to you as a premium member. Now you can see we have 168 titles. For example, you're looking for something, let's say 2019 server related labs. You can see we have quite a few labs about 2019, 2019 server administrative concept, configuration and maintaining. And let's say you want to look for something else, Azure. We have some Azure Labs. Similarly, AWS, we have a new lab available, Cloud Partitioner. So this is a way to just quickly kind of come over here and search for labs. If you want to open a lab, it's simply by clicking the lab title. And these are on the left side module. You can click on exercises just to see what's covered. You can click on launch here, and now the lab is getting launched. On the left side, you will see with Premium Labs, you get instructions step by step. You can see what's covered. You can directly go to that exercise. It will tell you exactly what to do on the right side so if you want to move the panel away you can do that if you want to follow it like that you can still do that so right side you see there are some controls you should play around with it what's best fit for your computer if you're dual monitors or if you want to pop up the screen because you want to move the lab you can do that this is the machine that comes with the lab depending on what kind of lab you are using. So if it's a 2019 or on-premises lab, you're going to see multiple labs in one section, like domain controllers, servers. But if it's a cloud lab, you most likely will see a, a kind of restricted machine where you basically click on a browser and it tells you exactly what to do in the instructions, but I'm just gonna show you. So this is AWS access, as you can see right now, when I click on it, I directly get into the AWS. Similarly, Azure will work the same way and you will be following lab step by step. Now here, if you, put, uh, you scroll up, this is where the information is. So if it's an on-premises lab, they get the passwords. Like I said, this is a cloud lab. It does not come with it. If a lab is disconnected, you can click on this little icon to reconnect. This is another information. If you want to directly get into that machine by console, you can do that. This is RDP right now. So this means it's remotely connected. Sometimes this is useful when you're doing like a local troubleshooting on a machine or learning things. And here you have more options, logs and everything where it's coming from. There's a support available as well from lab support. So if there's any issues inside the machine, slow or anything like that, it's not coming up or the whole lab is not coming up, then you can send an email to this support, not a JSS support. This is a different support. The rest is just information for you, uh, uh, portal information, logging out, logging in. Um, and here I'm just going to show you a different lab here, uh, not a cloud base. So let's just open the server now just to show you that um, you know our labs are very very powerful um, here let's say for example you want to now uh, learn about servers so administrative concepts so this is what's going to be covered extensive labs in there and if you launch the server lab uh, here it's going to open that so you see now the domain controller is already running in this type of lab so you don't have to create domain controllers to do this again and again this is the beauty of these labs so you can learn the tasks from the left side because if you're learning anything in it support you need us that little bit of step-by-step -step, uh you know information so these are different servers machines sometimes there are linux machines depending on what the lab is going to cover you're going to get machines with that these are real systems so another beautiful thing about these labs is that you can actually use it uh, for other purposes too. So let's say tomorrow you just don't want to follow this whole guide right here on the left side. You have all the systems uh, with you right now that you can turn on. And let's say this is a domain controller, this is a server, this is a this is a machine, this is another server, this is a Windows 10 machine. Now imagine how much you can do with the with a server like this that's connected to so many machines and some are not connected. So you can learn about dhcp you can learn about wds so many different skills even without um, going through step by step over here because you can go online on a youtube or you can follow our courses on jss platform like this one where there's courses in there and then the courses of course everything is very step by step uh, trainers and mentors are telling you what to do but even if you're not following our courses you can still use these labs for personal development anytime you like and however you want to use it uh, you do know that after you 
log out or uh, let's say you go out for one hour 30 minutes these labs are going to go back to its original state and and that's where when we say you can do everything to it because it's going to come back to its original state but again you can really use it for active directory powerful stuff right here uh, rail machines group policy and many many other skills that you can learn uh, the rest of course you should take your time to go over the documentation and the support and all of that information that is brought in the courses to be able to have a, uh, the best time with these labs now lastly sometimes if you uh, let's say you got this uh, access because you wanted to become an IT professional and you landed the job the first three four months you probably will try to learn the basics and then what happened in IT support is that you do repetitive work and all of a sudden you realize that okay I really need to learn some extra or advanced skills to move up with my career and people usually start very early on because it takes time so this is the beautiful part of these labs is that uh, even if you started with Windows 10 labs let's say you were doing something like uh, you know managing uh, CompTIA A plus or you were doing uh, you know modern IT uh, modern uh, desktop administration with Windows 10 over here like for, for example this one md100 and then there's your md101 uh, in this now tomorrow if you feel like okay my job is using uh cisco and and routers and everything you can totally jump into that you don't have to wait for anything you can just jump in and start this lab which is 21 hours and just learn the router stuff right here so if i'll click on it right now and i launch this is something that you don't get in in your job because you have to either create your own lab systems in your own home and which is very that's why these labs are there this is why it's a product because they wanted to tell people that look you don't have to do all of that stuff if you want to do it that's great it's actually a good thing to have a lab but not a lot of people then use it so why not you have something that's very step by step over here which so much information is given to you right here step by step and kind of prepares you for certification as well so here you have all the edge routers when core routers access routes switches and everything if you have everything that's that's available in a real systems not just like simulations then that's the beauty of these labs and that that's why we tell people that in our platform you don't just pay for something that you let's say do like one specific thing people become members because they want to grow in their career and then use it they come back to these labs throughout their careers throughout their roles in it so this was just a one example just to show you that you can come to these these type of labs and and based on what you need you can use it a lot of people are going for cyber security so you know if you become an it hub desk and your focus is cyber security even though you may find a really good courses outside but those might be a lot of video access so why not just use some sort of security labs in this so here we have CompTIA security plus we have ethical hacking we have security fundamentals it has uh, you know security for azure uh, security for windows 10 some more advanced labs as well uh, some some blue team stuff you know all of that stuff is available in here and even new uh, ethical hacking labs are are, are now uh, available in this here like the practice lab ethical hacking um, the ethical hacker v10 this is the v11 right here so you see uh, brand new stuff available for uh, security side too some some people actually ask us hey do you have security now we don't teach security from uh, like the way we teach things because we are going to come to it and that's something we will tackle it later on but here you have it you have the system here everything with you if you want to learn about sniffing wireshark you know breaking the password web application all of that sort of stuff on real systems then it's available for you so this is all i just wanted to quickly tell people that how powerful this membership is because it not just comes with labs but our own way of teaching by leading people through roadmaps uh, career related stuff everything is in one platform so you can't miss things if you really are into it i think this is one of the best way to just get started let us know if you have any questions we will be happy to answer it thank you